So this is a lovely shape and it comes up all over physics. It's just a right angled triangle. Now I've made this side here three bricks long. So if I just put this uh, square next to the side of that, I can also put uh, a piece of Lego which is four bricks along the bottom. I'm just gonna finish it off with a couple of bits more. Okay, so what we have is a side here and a side here. Now if we look at the relationship between the square of these sides and this long one up here, if I move this here, this here, and then these around to the top, what we can see is that the square of this side is the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Now by convention we write the longest side as C, this is A and this is B, and what we can then say is that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Or alternatively, if you want to know the length of side C, this is just going to be the square root of A squared plus B squared. Now this is a really useful thing, it's called Pythagoras and it comes up all the time. And it allows you, if you know two sides of a right angle triangle, to work out the third.